actually think America can actually bounce back and overcome this man? Do you actually think that you can overcome Obama? You actually think that the Republicans are going to come back to power and undo any of this? I disagree with you. I don't think you know about the surprises that are in this bill, but they found one of them. Do you remember when Obama was boasting about a civilian national security force bigger and stronger than the U.S. Military. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well -funded. He is a very, very, very good chameleon and a very good actor. He is a diehard fascist. Now you say, well, come on, he doesn't want to create a brown shirt movement in America. Obama's health care plan will provide participants minimum call pay for deductibles. Obama's health care plan will simplify paperwork for providers. Obama's health care plan will provide subsidies for families who cannot afford Medicaid. Obama's health care plan will be able to provide participants the ability to move from job to job without taking the health care coverage. Obama's health care plan will extend coverage to young adults up to the age of 25 through their parents' plan. Obama's health care plan will not turn any American away from any insurance plan. Obama's health care plan will offer health information technology. Obama's health care plan will reform our market structure to increase competition. Obama's health care plan will offer federal reinsurance to employers. Dog team, retreat! to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is But it. the Democrats' health care legislation added, added a certain special text to Section 203 of the Public Health Service Act that, uh, in, in fact, addresses this very issue of a civilian national security force, and that is the, called the Ready Reserve Corps. The funding went up to $12,500,000. But what you don't know is that the amendment, as stated, has not been publicized. Obama said before the election that we need to have a civilian defense corps as well funded and as well armed as the armed services. So exactly what do we mean by this? What does he mean when he says we cannot continue to rely on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set, that we've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well funded? Well, some people think uh, that the health care bill in uh, Section 203 of the Public Health Service Act already have laid the gr has laid the groundwork for a new brown shirts under the guise of the Reserve Corps offices uh, that we are so concerned about. The funding for the purpose of carrying out this new army uh, are already in place. <clears throat> Commission officers of the Ready Reserve Corps are appointed only by the President. And commissioned officers of the health army are appointed by the president with the advice and consent of the Senate. What does that mean? What do they actually do? Well, in the past, this little group of uh, army of public health officers worked with the National Institutes of Health. Nothing wrong with that. The Indian Health Service, nothing, no big deal with that. They provided physicians for Coast Guard operations. No big deal for that. But what do you think Obama has in mind with this? What exactly is it? Will he be taking uh, ACORN workers and giving them these jobs and, by the way, then writing another bill in the middle of the night by executive order giving them the right to carry weapons? Tell me what you think this but is. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. And look at how this bill was written. Can you say it was done openly? Yeah. With transparency and accountability? Without backroom deals and struck behind closed doors, hidden from the people? Hell no, you can't! Have you read the bill? Have you read the reconciliation bill? Have you read the manager's amendment? Hell no, you haven't!